Hello, everyone. Welcome again to the Bus Expo. We are, and I am, happy to welcome an old friend of Bus Travel to speak today. Abdul Sako, founder of MarketingMentor.Travel. Some of you may already know him from the great past webinars he held for our members. And for today, he has prepared something special to support you, a sales uh, uh, sorry, a sales skill masterclass, how to win a digital negotiation. Welcome, Abdul. Hi, Marcus. It's great to be here. Congratulations for the Buzz Expo. It's a really exciting event. <laughs> oh, thanks. Thanks. That's great to hear. So what are you going to tell us today? So today, uh, it's a very special webinar. Um, it's actually dedicated to everyone that is trying to... Um, negotiate uh, online and uh, wants to know more about negotiation hacks, persuasion skills, and um, everything that is necessary to close a deal online. That seems to be very necessary at the moment. V much needed. Definitely. I believe so. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking forward to seeing more. Sure. <laughs> there we go. Okay. So I believe you can all see my screen now. Okay, perfect. So uh, today um, I'm going to talk about uh, the sales skills. This masterclass uh, is um, intended to help you during a negotiation. Uh, there are uh, different channels uh, that uh, are being used for uh, communicate with people uh, nowadays, but we're going to focus on negotiation by email. So a quick introduction about myself. Uh, my name is Abdul Sakur. Um, I'm originally from Portugal. Uh, I have the hope that you will believe when I say to you that I have much more hair than uh, the baby in the picture when I was uh, a baby born. <laughs> um, and um, uh, yeah, I mean, I've been traveling around as well. Uh, and currently I am... Um, very much 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 focused and very very passionate about negotiation hacks uh, and i work uh, as a digital marketing and sales coach i've been always interested in psychology body language and persuasion so i think this is um, some of the skills that you need when you build confidence when you're trying to close a deal so um i keep tra travel in my radar since 2004 not only at the personal level, personal level, but also professional level. So um, in terms of um, living abroad, traveling around in Europe, Africa, Asia, some places um, in, in Africa as well. So yeah, travel has been my passion. It's something that uh, I've done in the past and hopefully, hopefully we can all do in the near future as well. <laughs> so I've been working with companies, tourism offices, uh, uh, travel and tourism um, consultancy companies as well and helping them get more uh, from their activities uh, online um, and also trying to improve their digital marketing presence, the, the, their online presence, uh, getting more leads and also getting more and more engagement uh, from their followings. So you can also find me um, through my company pages on Facebook and LinkedIn at Marketing Mentor for Travel Professionals. And yeah, just a little extra, I'm a languages freak. Uh, I speak quite a few languages. I'm passionate about uh, networking and talking with people from different cultures. So yeah, that has been my passion uh, for many, many years. So what is the agenda today? Uh, we're going to talk about top challenges in an online negotiation. Um, being prepared to skip face-to-face -face introductions with the uh, unprecedented times that we're living today, uh, it, it becomes more and more difficult to meet people face-to-face. -face. So we need to adjust to that and we need to have a plan B uh, if we want to interact at a more online level. We're going to learn as well on how to leverage the power of email, how to achieve a win-win negotiation, building rapport, becoming a virtual partner, and why you need to celebrate your outcome. It seems as a short presentation, but I, my intention was to do it short and sweet so that you can take 
notes and learn the most possible you can from this presentation. So be prepared and let's get back to work. Um, I think it's uh, very important to consider the type of challenges when you're trying um, to uh, negotiate with someone by email. You have a lot of obstacles. It's a slow process, so it's a step-by-step -step process. M emails going back and forth uh, takes a bit of time. Uh, we always have to be uh, waiting, um, and it's not something that we could do normally if we were face-to-face. Uh, you have to consider that there is no uh, emotional expression. So everything that you used to do to communicate um, your uh, habits, your expressions, uh, this is all absent. So you have to put all the emotions aside and try to approach uh, all, all the negotiation process with a more a logical point of view. Um, consider also that the message can be edited or shared because um, in a meeting, if we go to meet someone at the office, uh, we have a talk and that's it. But in this case, uh, no, the message is registered. Your emails are registered, can be even saved in a, in a cloud software and can be shared. So yeah, there is this kind of obstacles. People sometimes feel reluctant for it. And that's why uh, most of businesses fail. There is a flood of information online. So how will someone prioritize uh, contacting with a Y or Z person, okay? Um, it's very difficult. Unless we don't have a clear strategy, it's very difficult to get someone attention uh, online. It's hard to build rapport. There is a, a, an absence of body language, the same as emotional express, expression as well, because the way you communicate using your hands, eye-to-eye -eye contact, uh, and also trying to, um, you know, uh, convince someone with with your presence, with your personality. This is completely absent. What typos, mistakes, and corrections? Whatever you say in uh, in in the email, obviously you can correct it, but it can create some room for error. So you really need to be careful with that. And also, the information can be misinterpreted if not written correctly. So these are the obstacles. Of course, there are much more, but the ones that we can uh, spot when trying to um, negotiate with someone uh, is, um, is, is this all listed here. Uh, and it's something that you, you need to think about it before actually starting uh, to connect with someone. So based on all of this, what should we do? It's quite complicated, right? Where do I start? This is the big question. Um, but let me think. If I want to negotiate, and at least I need to have some kind of connection with the person, right? Because we need to have uh, things in common. Uh, we need to share things in common. We need to have like a foundation to start a conversation. So where do I start? First, I would suggest uh, to start by your online profile. Because in a face-to-face -face negotiation, you start by introducing yourself. It's simple as that. But in the digital world, people want to see your uh, LinkedIn profile, right? They want to see your name. They want to see your picture, okay? And they um, want to know why you are valuable to them, okay? That's why it's very important that you keep this information up to date. You keep your uh, skills section up to date. You recommend and you ask for recommendations because in the end, we are not doing businesses with brands or logos. We are doing, people are doing businesses with people. So we need to give an authentic and credible online presentation before going into a negotiation, okay? I have here an example of a very popular recruiter which has a very nice profile. He's even listed on the 10 best profiles on LinkedIn. Uh, his headline is very, um, is very catchy, I would say, because the way he shows his joy and the way he shows his passion about his work is very good. And then it's also uh, attracting nice recommendations. Besides that, he has a section with skills and endorsements because in the end, 
um, people want to see as well if you are uh, you have competences that will help them achieve their goals. So an endorsement is actually a visa for collaboration. And um, the network that you have of people that recommend you will want to make other people work with you. So this is very important that you have your online um, profile up to date uh, before trying uh, any initiative for uh, collaboration or for negotiation, okay? But then I've done that. What is my next step? What should I do? Maybe um, if I want to negotiate with someone, maybe I will just do something. Uh, instead of me going to his door, I'm going to see who is knocking on my door. Let me see who's viewed my profile. Ah, Marcus Schaeffer <laughs> from Bus Travel. Incredible. I knew it. He was actually looking into my profile. But, you know, maybe he's interested to see if I can help him, if I can do something for him. And maybe he believes that I can help him. Maybe he believes that, that I can solve his problem. Yeah? Why not take advantage of that? So let me start by approaching him with a great starter. And now I'm starting the video. Shafa, am I pronouncing your name correctly? Hey, Marcus Schaffer, am I pronouncing your name correctly? <laughs> I really hope so. Listen, uh, I've seen that you've attended my sales masterclass workshop at the Bus Expo on June 30th. Is it correct? I really hope you've enjoyed the session. Listen, let's have a chat on Monday, July 6th. What do you think? I'm sending you my booking registration link down below. Okay, let's have a chat. It will be fun. So I wanted to break the ice and I've sent him a video and I even sent him a booking registration link to attend uh, our meeting on Monday. So fingers crossed. Let's see what happens. <laughs> ah, surprise, surprise. He already responded to my email, to my message. Hi, Abdul. I hope you are doing fine. Did you receive my latest email? So yes, he's very anxious and I'm also very anxious. We should really, really start to connect and maybe there is an opportunity for me, okay? So it's very important that whenever we uh, approach someone and we do a video like this, that we mention the name of our prospect because there is nothing more personal than our own name, correct? So I'm, uh, and because we want to build trust in the online world, we want to build trust. So it's very important that uh, the first uh, impression that you give to, to, to your lead, to your prospect, to your potential customer is by saying his name. There is no risk of you not knowing his name if you already seen his profile. So um, it's uh, uh, it's something that you have to consider uh, whenever you, you approach him. Um, you should set an informal, informal and relaxed tone. Okay, we still don't want to give the idea that we are selling something. So we need to set an informal and relaxed tone, first of all, and then give a prospect a reason to initiate a purposeful, pers uh, purposeful connection um, with us. Because um, when we when we try to um, approach a prospect, uh, we also need to um, sh uh, show them some context. This is very important because, uh, like I said, we we want to have things in common uh, with our prospect, with our future customer. So imp it's important that you give them a re you give them a reason to contact us and um, that we are valuable for a future uh, conversation with them. I give you another example. 
um, we can also try to approach our prospect by email as well. So I have here an example. I'm going to read it very quickly. So um, your LinkedIn post discussing how your company is struggling to overcome business travel in December. That's just one example. Uh, made me think of others I know experiencing the same frustration. What seems to work is when companies tackle these three core issues. Uncertainty about the health measures in destination queue, airlines refunds, flights availability in December to queue, so destination queue. Uh, let me know if you'd like me to send the ultimate business travel guide 2020 my company put together that spells out to effectively address these issues. Regards and your name. So here we are uh, approaching by email, by giving some context, uh, by also addressing specific issues that he's having and how we can solve those issues. Okay. So at this point of time, you're just connecting by email. Um, after you had a first approach, maybe by video, or maybe after your first email, now you have to really take advantage of all the features that email is giving you. So the email, uh, in terms of opportunities, allows you to plan your responses. So it's a process of back and forth. So it gives you time to plan your responses. Uh, it allows you to discuss long topics in your own schedule, it gives credibility through documents, maps, or statements. You're trying to sell a house or you're trying to sell a hotel, okay? You need to give them some financial background, financial statements. It's just an example, yeah? But it's really important that you show uh, that you have all the materials available to corroborate your opinion, your statement in the email. The way you dispose the information in the email, highlighting some important items in bold or italic or text are also very important. And you can set, set the foundation for the items to be agreed and define a time cycle to transition to a more direct conversation through call or video on your stage to a close or postpone the deal. So I've um, been working with some companies which they get to a stage where they, they are, okay, so we've agreed three, four, five points. Now what should we do? Okay, uh, he's reluctant to say yes, yes, no. Maybe to break the ice, just why not giving him a quick phone call? Why not maybe just uh, sending him a voice message on WhatsApp, okay? And try to see how things are, okay? Because sometimes we don't want to make it that it's only, uh, you know, we are trying to get our way around just by uh, these conditions, but we need to emphasize the fact that we are humans as well, and we are on top of this, and we want to make it happen as soon as possible. So it's important that you understand this stage during the process of negotiating by email. A very important thing as well that email allows you is that wherever you write is uh, registered, even if it is in, in, the, in the cloud. Um, it's also good if you have a software because that will help you keep uh, efficiently organized with all the documentations uh, regarding a specific uh, deal, agreement, or negotiation. Now, how can you really win, uh, achieve a win-win negotiation? The first point I would say is to collect qualified data about your audience prior to composing the message. And that's why I've mentioned that the first thing that uh, it's important to do is that you build your online profile because then when you know that someone is looking into your online profile, you can also check their online profile, okay? And this will give you uh, information that uh, you, you need um, to understand a little bit more about his background, about his professional experience, about his um, uh, about his uh, professional background. So it's very important that you understand your audience. It's very important you understand your customer. Uh, it's important that you understand who you are doing business with. So that's really the first point I would uh, suggest you to do. The second thing is to authenticate your digital correspondence with a software like DocuSign or other emails authentication method. That will give you some reliability in terms of digital correspondence. It's not something that you're uh, just uh, chatting about. It's actually something official. And uh, you, you need to make sure that uh, it's very well highlighted in the email that you're sending to him. 
ask relevant questions and take time to study the answers. Now you have all the time, okay? Uh, you send an email, you receive the, the, the feedback. Um, it's important that you um, analyze item by item because you have the time. You have the time to do it. Ask for confirmation if an items, item seems unclear. Sometimes we are in the process of just, um, you know, reading out uh, all the items, uh, prices, uh, volume, quantities, um, you know, uh, location. Uh, but it seems so much information that um, there might be some information that is not very clear for us. So it's very, very important that if we have any question, maybe pick up the phone and have a call and ask him, is this clear or not? Or maybe just send uh, a different email uh, about this, okay? So that everything is clarified. Use time in your favor. So uh, have you seen um, time can be an obstacle? It can be a very step-by-step -step process, a slow process, but also can you can use it in your adventure, in your benefit. The most feedback and the most valuable feedback that you give to your prospect, the higher the probab probability of him answering you. Pick up the phone if you need a short clarification or just send a voice or a video message, okay? I've been working with companies that um, they use these very um, concise techniques. They look very straightforward and very simple, but in fact, when you are in the process of writing uh, five to 10 emails per day, and in the end you have more than uh, 40, 50 emails, which can happen, which can really happen because you have to agree in many items which are not clear, uh, then it's very important that um, you do this step by step, you take the time um, so that you can prepare uh, all the information that you and materials that you want to give to your uh, prospect and achieve a successful negotiation. In a favorable favorable post negotiation scenario, uh, if you can, if you actually achieved um, a deal, uh, why not maybe sending a handwritten note to your prospect, thanking him for the long back and forth emails, emails enclosed to your contract? Because now you're all tired. Yeah, you're you're just uh, uh, very very. Um, uh, tired of this process and you want to get things done. So now is the process of signing the contract, signing the document, the documentation, scanning everything. So it's a good time to show that uh, there is a personal touch from your side, that you are appreciative of all the effort that has been done. So why maybe not write uh, on your own uh, handwritten uh, type calligraphy uh, a small note to your current client now? Because now that you've achieved something positive, it's time to celebrate your outcome. It's time to show them some love. Why not celebrating your outcome by sharing your achievement? Write reviews, highlight the benefit in working with them, publish a blog about your relationship with your client, use mentions and tag features to highlight your client's accomplishments, show the progress you've made, but keep your goals up to date. It's important that you uh, build a foundation for future businesses um, uh, with the same client and also attract new businesses, new people that are interested in your way of doing things and the way that you work. Uh, this is very important nowadays because we want to feel comfortable uh, with someone that uh, has a good um, uh, uh, profile, uh, has a good profile and has a good achievement list uh, in their social channels. So as you see, we had a very successful webinar, um, uh, but obviously, you know, you want to promote your uh, partnership um, from the moment that you start to build something with someone, uh, then you really need to emphasize and highlight the fact that we are in this together and we achieved something together. So it's really, uh, it's really positive that you promote that, that flow of uh, positiveness and flow of confidence and trust uh, with your partner now that you achieved something with him. And this will reflect in your reviews as well, in the ways that people will talk about you, in the ways that people uh, want to know more uh, about your work, about your company, about the way you do um, uh, your job uh, and the way that 
you can create value for them in the future. So this was just a taste. Um, if you want to know more, uh, because there are much more techniques uh, which um, um, are part of this presentation, this was just uh, some small uh, advices uh, for the purpose of this uh, masterclass. But if you want to learn more sales hacks and techniques, uh, how to master the science and art of negotiation, if you want to get uh, more persuasion skills, uh, even uh, email writing skills, you can visit my website on marketingmentor.travel. Uh, solutions and sales skills training from zero to sales experts. There are more masterclasses coming soon. If you're interested to um, uh, knowing more, you can uh, you can just be uh, with your eyes open. There will be more courses, uh, five rules for a successful negotiation on LinkedIn, how to win a negotiation by video conference. You can always subscribe to our newsletter. And yes, please connect with me. I look forward to know more about your business and um, to help you however we can. So my next event will be on Thursday. I will really look forward to it. And it has been a very exciting time to be in this Buzz Travel Expo. I've seen so many interesting discussions from um, different backgrounds and from different countries. It has been really, really amazing to be here. And I really want to give a special thanks to the Buzz Travel team and everyone that has organized this. Thank you very much. A big fat thank you to everyone. Thank you. Thank you, Abdul. This had been, again, well, we know each other for some time now. Um, again, very, very interesting, I have to say. And it's a pleasure, of course, having you here talking. Um, and I think especially this one here really gave everybody something in their hands that can really more or less easily use to, to, well, to be more successful. So thank you a lot for sharing that with us. And I'm looking forward to seeing you uh, on Thursday then uh, in, the, in the next event we have. Uh, this will be very, very interesting as well. I know that. And as uh, Abdul already mentioned, he will be around on the, on the expo. Just get on his profile. Uh, you have at any time the possibility to get connected, to ask for a talk, for example. So feel free to do that, especially uh, with Abdul, if you really want to get into that topic. And of course, to everybody else um, who all have their booths here. Feel free to connect. And Abdul, thanks once again. <laughs> See you on Thursday. Thank you very much, Marcus. He has been a really great, great pleasure to be here. Thank you very much. And have a great day. I wish you the same. And to everybody else, of course, as well. Have a great day. See you soon. Bye-bye. See you. Cheers. Bye-bye.